Hi guys. Today we'll be going through a problem. Happy number. So the problem is something like this. Given an integer, you need to find sum of squares of every digit until it equals to 1 and it remains 1 afterwards. So for, for example 19, when you do 1 square plus 9 square, it's 82. 8 square plus 2 square, 68. 6 square plus 8 square, 100. 1 square plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And even if you continue doing the same, right, the sum of squares, the sum will be always equal to 1. So it's called as a happy number. So in that case, you return it true. So let's go to the second example, n is equal to 4. So 4 square is 16, 1 square plus 6 square is 37. So if you keep continuing this, so if you see, you will hit the same number where you started again, instead of hitting 1. So that's when you know the number is, a, is not a happy number and you can return false. So again, so when you find the sum of squares and if you hit 1, it's a happy number and you return it true. And when you find the sum of squares and if you hit the same number where you started, it's not a happy number and you return false. So the logic contains just three steps and it's a very easy problem. So basically you loop until n is not equal to 1. You take a set, initially it will be empty. So once you get the input n, you check if it is there in the set. If not, you insert it. So if it is already there, it means we are hitting it for the second time, we return false. Okay. So again, so check if n is in the set. If it is already there, we return false because we have already encountered the number before. So if not, we insert it and then we find the sum of square of digits and continue the loop. Okay, let's go with the example. So n is equal to 19. So you come and check if it is there in the set. It's not there. So you insert 19 in the set. Then you find the sum of squares, which is 82. And you check if it is there in the set. It's not there, so you insert it. Then again, you find the sum of squares, which is 68. You come back and check if it is in the set. It's not there, so you insert that again. So then you insert 100. Then you insert 1. So you stop here. Once we hit 1, we stop and we return back saying it's a happy number. So if you see the example 4, for the first time when you come, the set will be empty and 4 is not present in the set. So you insert 4 here. You find the sum of squares, which is 16. 16 is not there in the set. You insert. So if you keep inserting the remaining elements, 37, 58, 89, 145, 42, 20, and 4. So when, okay. So before this, when you find the sum of squares, that is 2 square plus 0, it's 4. So you come back and check here. So if it is already present in the set. So in this case, 4 is already present in the set. So you return false. So this is a very simple, easy problem. So if you have any inputs or concerns regarding this solution, please leave them in the comments below. And keep learning every day. And thank you for watching. Thank you. Hello, everyone. So as I've already explained the logic, how to solve this problem. So now I'll be writing code for it. Let's go through the problem. Write an algorithm to determine if a number is happy. A happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting with, the po starting with any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digit and repeat until it equals to one. Okay, so if it ends in one, then it's a happy number. For example, given a number 19, right? So we, basically break this into digits one and nine try to find the squares and find the sum 82 and keep repeating it until the sum is equal to one so if it reaches one then it's a happy number let's start coding So as you can see, the input is 19. So we break it into two digits, one and nine, and the sum of the squares will be 82. And we keep on repeating it. So once we hit one, then we try to find, let's say n is equal to one. So even if you continue this for n number of times, always the sum will be one. So it's a happy number. Let's start coding. So we'll be taking a set, stores integer. then start a loop until n is not equal to one. So first, we need to see if it is already present in the set. Dot 
count of n if it is there then we return false if not we the do set dot insert n okay next we take something called as next which will be let's initialize that for zero and see what how, how we can get to the next number let's initialize that so let's initialize the next to zero and let's see how we can get to the next number so we we'll loop until n is greater than zero so let's take a temporary number to give the last digit in the last digit so that we n more 10 and we need to square and add it to next 10 into 10 okay. then we reduce we take the next digit of n it's 10. okay keep repeating it until the n is greater than zero so at the end a new digit will be in the next so we assign that to yeah After this while loop, so once we hit n is equal to one, so we come out because after that it will stay as the sum is always equal to one. We return true. Okay. So this looks like the complete code. Let's go through line by line. So we take a set and we take the integer and check if it is not equal to one. We, if it is already there in the set, we return false. If not, we just insert into the set. Then we take an integer next to store the next integer and we get the next integer and so on. We terminate this while loop once n is equal to one and return two. Okay, the code looks correct. Let's run the code. Okay, looks like we got the expected what was out expected. Okay, looks like we got the output which was expected, which is true in this case. Let's sum it and see if it passes for all the test cases. Yes. As you can see, the runtime is zero millisecond. So it is one of the fastest solution, just that it uses a bit of memory, 6.3 MB, because we are using a set to store the integers. But in terms of time complexity, this, this is the fastest you can code. Do let me know your comments and concerns in the comments below and please do like, share and subscribe. As I always say, keep learning every day. Thank you.